Hey guys, welcome back to Project Tube. So the other day I was surfing YouTube videos and I stumbled on a video of making concrete dragon eggs. And I said that was pretty cool. You guys probably saw it because it was trending. It had like 150,000 views. And so I watched the video and frankly I was disappointed. I mean the thing didn't even look like dragon egg. It just looked like a piece of concrete that they had cracked up and painted the inside copper colored. And I said, you know what, I can make a dragon egg better than that. So I jumped on my 3D printer and printed out this dragon egg. Looks pretty cool, got scales and everything. I said, you know what, let's cast this out of metal. Let's get started. All right, first things first, we'll go ahead and glue on the top main sprue, which is actually gonna go on the bottom of the egg. Next, like many of my other recent castings, I'm going to take a real soupy solution of the plaster and just paint it over the scale so that I don't get any bubbles in those areas and the casting comes out real nice. Alright, so I want to put a bottom vent sprue on this. So what I did, because since I covered it with plaster, is I just carved away some of that plaster right there, just exposed a little bit of the model right there, and then we're going to glue this uh, vent sprue on. If you've seen my other videos, you've probably seen that I, I never have enough plaster. I always have to make a second batch, and it's deceiving. You fill up like half a five-gallon bucket worth of sand and plaster, and you're like, oh, this is plenty. This is going to be more than enough, and then it fills up the box halfway. I, I swear the stuff shrinks down when you make it, and I always have to make at least two batches, sometimes three. I have to say it was actually nice this week that I didn't have these huge 50 pound molds like I have had the last two videos I believe and something that actually fit my forge and burned out in a fairly small amount of time. Just to give you an idea of how hot it was this weekend, not the ideal weekend to be working in the garage with the forge going full blast. Tip number one, don't use a grinding wheel as a cutoff wheel. It doesn't work that good, dumbass. So here's a shot of the egg after I scrubbed it really good with a brass bristle brush. Say that five times fast. I've had to record this like ten times. And as you can see, the copper, it's very coppery color right now in comparison to when I had it in the vise and I was cutting off the screws. And so one good way to get rid of an oxide layer on copper is to heat it up really hot and then quench it in water. So we're going to do it because it's kind of cool. So take it look. It was actually really interesting when I did this. I didn't expect this at all. You know, usually when I plunge hot items, orange hot items, into water, it just it just makes, you know, sizzles. But the egg didn't do that. As I dropped the egg into the water, it was still orange hot inside the water. And then as the heat slowly transferred into the water, it actually then boiled the water. It was kind of like a delayed effect, and it was really cool. 
right guys, so here is the copper one. And this is after being in the etchant. So the copper etchant. Um, I like these colors better, the best. But I could shine it up and it could be totally copper color. Um, or I could put it back in the forge and darken it up and make it mostly dark like you saw when I was grinding it. Um, but I like this the best. I think it's it has some really cool colors to it, some golds and some reds and like bronzes. So I think I'm gonna leave it like this. It weighs two pounds, this thing, it feels like a chunk of lead in your hand. And because it was requested in brass, here is a brass one. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough metal. So on both of these, actually, I didn't have enough metal. I just didn't expect uh, how much metal it would actually take to do these. So, but they sit nicely, which is cool. And uh, the brass one came out pretty good. Still needs some cleanup, but it's been a long, hot day, and I'd like to get this video out. So, um, this is a really cool print and cast. I think I'm gonna have to go back to this another time when I have more metal and um, try it again because I think these could be really, really cool. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.